In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create some match patterns. Match patterns can give a visual interest uh, to your drawings or as well as represent the materials to be used in construction. Now we have some uh, shapes here that want to fill them with the edge patterns and uh, we go right away to the edge patterns uh, and I select the edge here. Uh, notice uh, we're just transferred to the edge creation tab here and we have lots of options to change here. I'm going to click on my this uh, shape here and I can change the, these options and values right now or I can click and uh, change it now or I can press escape select that object that uh, pattern and change it now I can change some angle give us some angle and I can change that let's change, change it to 4 enter and the transparency let's change the transparency to 7 71 and uh, let's press enter press escape button and uh, I'm going to again launch the edge and I'm going to fill these squares right here but before that I'm going to change this uh, pattern from ANSI 32 to something else maybe something like uh, something like ANSI 34 and I'm going to click on this this and this and this one and I can change this uh, value to maybe 4 and I can change the angle to to the 45 and enter now let's uh, take a look at this uh, associative guy this guy is turned on already and uh, this guy is uh, there to represent Thompson and that is uh, we're going to press enter before that and let's see what that does we're going to select this uh, boundary here and we're going to select one of these grips and change its place and place it right here I'm going to click to place it pattern changed itself fill the other space that we uh, change this boundary here not uh, the outer one but the inner one as well Now let me tell you that you can represent the, you can uh, change the uh, transparency uh, by changing this I, this mode right here. Show an eye transparency. I'll click this and see what happens. Look, and I'll select this edge right here and s see what that does. Now, uh, we're the, uh, we are in Edge Pattern tab, and as we see, the transparency is 71, 71%, and we weren't seeing that transparency before. Before we click this Show and I the transparency, I'm gonna click it back. See how it doesn't affect the transparency here when it's turned off we're going to turn it on back turn it back on here okay let's fill this shape right here I'm going to uh, launch the edge here and notice uh, I'm going to change the transparency a little down notice when I choose the edge command I can only pick a, a boundary a complete uh, closed boundary and if I wanna uh, fill all of these this circle together use this select boundary 
using this boundary uh, we're going to fill the boundary we want and AutoCAD is going to ignore everything else and if you click this select that click this and see how it filled all of that boundary with just one click and I'll press the enter to accept all these settings and now we have some knowledge on uh, match commands let's use them on some practical example here we've got a architectural example of a floor plan of a college dorm room I'm going to fill the interior of the walls with some hatch patterns and I'm going to go to select the hatch patterns uh, command and let's change the value of this to maybe 15 and hit tab we're going to use the ANSI but let's see let's uh, use ANSI 31 here I'm going to see how that works and we're going to angle T to zero that works much better I'm going to click click this click this and we're done Match patterns are very effective helping you visually organize your drawings.